going to make Guinness chocolate truffles. These are great for the holidays. They're a nice gift to give. They're very, very rich, and they're also very easy. I have a pan of water, and on it I have a bowl, and in the bowl I have two cups of a good chocolate that I've chopped up, and I'm letting it melt. Let's just give that a little bit of a stir. It's really melty already. And then here I have a quarter of a cup of Guinness beer and two-thirds of a cup of heavy cream. Very easy recipe. It's just, it's time consuming because you have to wait in between steps, but that's okay. It's a good thing to start in the morning and then you can finish after in the afternoon. Almost all melted, so I'm going to add the Guinness right now. I'm going to add the cream. It's not a diet dessert, that's for sure. And now we're just going to melt and make sure we have no lumps in here. Just mix it up. I don't want to spill it all over the place. And the, the water is on a simmer. It's not on a boil. You don't want it boiling. This will probably make anywhere from 12 to 15 or 16 truffles. If you want to double this recipe, you can do that. Just use a bigger bowl and double up the ingredients. And we're getting there. What I will do, as soon as this is all melted and blended, which it's not because you can see I still have a clump of chocolate in there, is we're going to let this stand at room temperature just to cool down a bit. And then we're going to put it in the refrigerator for Oh, at least four hours. Um, usually what you can do is do this like in the afternoon and then make the truffles the next day and let it sit in the refrigerator overnight. And then after you make your truffles, well, after it's set, you're going to form your truffles and then you're gonna put those back in the refrigerator while you melt some more chocolate, just chocolate, and then you will dip your truffles in that and decorate them in some way that you like. And this is just about done. So I'm going to just bring a towel over here because it's wet. Okay, like I said, I'm going to just let this sit at room temperature for, I don't know, about half an hour, an hour. And then I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator for at least four hours. Simple. Ready to start rolling the Guinness truffles. I've actually started because this is a very messy um, operation. I'm gonna get very, very messy very shortly. I have the mixture, what's left of it, the rest of it's here, and some good quality cocoa. You really want good quality cocoa. Don't buy generic stuff. Invest in a good cocoa. This is something where the chocolate shines in this recipe. Now, something about truffles. If you follow the recipe perfectly, they should turn out very easily. Now, by that I mean, it says put it in the refrigerator for four hours until it's set then you can roll them because obviously you can't roll something that's wet. When I made this before, I put it in the, uh, uh, the refrigerator for four hours. When I went to check on it, it was like pudding. You, you couldn't pick it up because it was just gonna be gloopy. Um, I put it in for another two hours. Same thing, it was just like pudding. So what I did was, and this is what you can do if you're making truffles, any kind of truffles in the future, is I melted four more ounces, four little four and a half ounces of the same chocolate originally. I melted it until it was smooth. I poured it into the pudding-like substance and I beat it up until it was really well blended. I covered it, I put it back in the refrigerator and after an hour I had a, a truffle mixture that I could roll. So in the future, if you're making truffles and you find that this happens, and I, I read online that it happens to a lot of people, you can add more chocolate, 
I would not advise adding confectioner's sugar because it wasn't in the original recipe and that's going to make it really, really sweet and change the whole texture of it. Go with the chocolate unless you're making a truffle that started out with confectioner's sugar. Anyways, my ranting is over. Let's roll some truffles. And after I roll these, these will not be done. They're going to have to, well, I'm going to take enough. I'm not going to roll it that much now. I'm going to roll it in the cocoa as a chunky truffle. That actually looks like a truffle. And then I put it in my hands and then roll it. Without rolling it in the cocoa, my hands would be so sticky right now. So I'm just going to finish these off. And then when I'm done with these, what we're going to do is we're going to put these in the freezer for about a minimum of 30 minutes. You want this mixture to be really cold before you start dipping it in warm chocolate. Because if you were to dip these right now into warm chocolate, they're so, they're starting to come to room temperature that they would start falling apart. They'd become misshapen and they wouldn't be really nice truffles. So you want to have your mixture, your truffle base as cold as possible. You can leave them in there longer than a half an hour if you want to. So just finish these up. And one other thing is truffles, a good truffle is supposed to melt in your mouth, almost like an ice cube, really quickly when you put it, when, it, when the truffle touches the heat of your tongue. And of course I had to taste this, you know, I had to find out if it was any good. And I did taste it and it was very good. It just melted, it was delicious. And I can't wait to taste them after they've been dipped in chocolate, chocolate on chocolate, and then the thinness inside. Very nice. Okay, on to my last one. See how messy my hands are? If I was doing all of these, I usually do like a row of them, six or seven. Stop, go rinse my hands off, and then I start again. It's up to you how much you can tolerate being really messy. Okay, and there's our last truffle. So. I'm going to go wash my hands and then I'm going to put these in the freezer and after they've been in for a while I'll come back and we'll start dipping them. Our truffles have been in the freezer for about 20 minutes and then I put them in the refrigerator until I was ready to start here. And what I've done is I have a pan with some water in it and a bowl over it and I've melted 12 ounces of really good semi-sweet chocolate, um, your choice of chocolate of course, and I'm going to take one of these truffles. And I'm going to just drop it in there, roll it around, give it a good tap and let some of that excess drip off. There's lots of ways of dipping truffles. This is the two fork method. You can use the toothpick method. Um, you can see all these online demos on how to do it. Um, and then you can also buy candy dipping tools and make it. What I'm going to do is before that sets, I'm going to decorate some with, I have some flaked sea salt on that one. You don't have to do that. Um, because this has Guinness in it, you might want to crush up some pretzels and really finely crush up some pretzels and drip those on the top for decoration. This one I'm going to put in a little bit of edible glitter, some gold glitter. Whatever you like, whatever suits your fancy. You can also use nothing on these and just leave them plain. Up to you. They're your truffles. I hope you enjoy them.